All right. Yes. Questions for Coach? Uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, fire away. I don't know about, I'm about tired of opening statements. <laughs> <laughs> so, why don't you guys just fire some questions at me? Mark, obviously you Injury situation was pretty dire last week. Are you getting younger guys more reps this week? Just for definitely, definitely. I think you know we always, you know, even early in the year when we're in a little better shape physically, there's always a balance of making sure we're developing the young guys and getting them ready for the future. And um, you know, a lot of players may double up, play some special teams. You know, we may use them in some roles, but they're not getting all of the ones and twos reps. So during each bye week, we we try to uh, you know focus more on them, you know, and uh, uh, I, I shouldn't say more, but give the, just give them more reps, and uh, and they're certainly getting that, and uh, trying to get the other guys healthy, and and the team that we have, the guys that are healthy and that are out there, just trying to get better. So it's a combination of everything. Mark, I know you talked before, but the bowl streak, keeping that going, I know that's important to you. How? How are the older guys on the team also kind of taking that as significance? Like, is that a message? Like, hey, we got to do this, finish I mean, strong. It is. I mean, but, you know, our current situation is what it is. And we can't look ahead even to that. You know, I mean, uh, yeah, I took pride in that. And it was, it, it's, it's not as easy as people think. Uh, you know, just look at the number of people that have done it. And, um, you know, but for us, it's, it's one game at a time. Right now, it's concentration on this bye week. And... And uh, I know you guys, you know, you probably feel like that's coach speak. And I know for fans, they think about big picture and future and everything. And so do I. I have to, you know, I have to think about those things. But right now it's about getting this team better, getting healthy and getting better and go try to get a win and finish really strong one game at a time. Well, you could lose like 20 guys off your two deep, depending on how those decisions mm -hmm. that you start talking about go. Just how important is it to get engaged on that and get ahead of, of just how big you're going to well, I think, you know, that's a constant, you know, we, we constantly evaluate that. Sometimes, you know, when I could step away from an offense or defensive staff, I mean, like I have player personnel meetings all the time. We have a whole department. And so that's always ongoing, you know, looking at, you know, what our roster looks like, what are the ifs and buts and, and trying to balance that. And that, that's a challenge for everybody in the country. So we're no different on that, but we always try to stay one step ahead and, uh, and you know, just you know, keep an eye on what that looks like. You mentioned evaluating on how to get better. What is what has that been looking like? What have you guys been identifying as the ways to improve? Yeah, there, I think you know it's pretty clear we, we need to improve in a lot of areas. You know, I also believe in the guys that we have here. Um, you know, we're not as far off as it always. You know, sometimes it appears. Um, you know, in each game, there's always a, a few plays uh, that. that you know, can change the outcome, and, and we're looking to find those 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 uh, answers right now. Uh, as far as player personnel and what we'll do in the future, you constantly want to up, you know you, you you constantly want to recruit at a high level and, and help your roster, but that that will come uh, at the appropriate time. Mark, Cutter an option to play in, since he's got those three games left on the stretch. Uh, he, he's an option. I'd, I'd I'd like to see him just like I'd like to see a lot of the young guys. Any of the the guys that we have four games with, whether we use them on special teams or whether we could get them some reps, I think, you know, any any game reps you can get somebody, uh, certainly at the quarterback position, you know, it's important. But, um, you know, we, we want to go look good, build on what we've done and, and try to get better. Again, I thought, you know, as I mentioned post game, you know, we did some good, you know, we played some winning football against a really good team. And, and uh, we just have to sustain that for, for a whole game. And, uh, you know, I thought Brock was really having a good game. Um, and so, obviously, his health health is uh, most important to us and getting him healthy right now is the main thing. Is it a head injury for Brock? I, I don't want to comment on that. Okay. Is he making progress? Oh, yes, he is. Mm -hmm. With Cutter, what's the biggest thing that you've seen him improve on from when he got here to the moment now? Even well, in, in a young guy, you know, it, it's hard to – you know, you could go look at him and watch him every day and throw routes on there and see the talent. And you see seven on seven, you see the talent, um, you know, against the SEC opponents and, get, you know, our guys and, and others and getting in there in a game. Um, you know, I think that's what's most important is getting them a feel and getting them some reps in a, a high-intensity environment. Everybody good? All right. Good okay, thank you. Thanks, All right, we will see you all next